Hi, everybody, and welcome back to our super awesome science show, a virtual production for the Lake Charles Children's Museum brought to you by Will Pro Productions. Today, we're going to take a strawberry and not eat it. We are going to extract all of its DNA. What is DNA, you might ask? Well, that's a good question. DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. And it is a substance found inside of each cell in our body that codes for proteins that make up who you are. It contains all of the information that codes for genes in our bodies to give you black hair or blonde hair or brown hair or different color eyes or skin or whatever. In the strawberry, it makes them big strawberries, little strawberries, red, codes for the leaves and petals on top here, codes for their sweetness, all kinds of stuff. So it makes up what an organism is holding that information. We're gonna take all of it out today and I'll show you how to do that. We're gonna take our strawberry and you can either leave the petals on top or take them off, it doesn't matter. We need a Ziploc bag we're gonna take and put it in our Ziploc bag. Make sure that we close it all the way. This is the fun part. We're just gonna take, don't punch a hole in the bag, but we're gonna take and start smashing up our strawberry. The better we smash it up, the more cells that we break open. So there are millions and millions and millions of cells, billions in, in a human being, but inside this strawberry there's many millions of cells and we're trying to rupture all those cells by just smashing it together. Why would we want to do that? Well, DNA resides inside of the cells, inside of the nucleus, so we want to get it out. And we're going to use a couple of chemicals to get that out. Okay, we've got a pretty good mash right there. First thing we're gonna do, open our bag, and we're gonna take some just plain old distilled water. We tend to have better results when we use distilled water. And we don't need to add much, maybe about a half a cup, third of a cup, something like that, just enough to kinda Make a mash, and we'll shake that up real good and try to get all our little parts and pieces in the bag in there. That'll work. We're gonna add two more ingredients. We're taking some regular salt, just common table salt, and we don't need to add much, just a pinch, just a little bit of salt. That's good. And once again, we'll use our plain dishwashing soap. It's a surfactant, so it helps to break the cellular material open. That's made of fats. And we're gonna take and mix all this up together. Okay, so we've got that. We'll take a plain cup, doesn't matter what kind, and a coffee filter. Now, it works better if you can take your coffee filter, kind of fold it over the sides, and the best way to do this is to gently pour this in here and hold your coffee filter so it doesn't fall into the cup. And we'll try to get all of our mash in there. And we'll start letting it drain through and filter. This might take a few minutes, but you can see that filtering through. And this is just to get 
the larger bits and pieces out of our our uh, mixture at the bottom. Now our last ingredient is just regular old rubbing alcohol, which has become a precious commodity here lately. Uh, so if you can find it, uh, the higher the strength concentration is better. This is 70%. Uh, they make it in 91 and I think 95%. It works better if it's chilled in the freezer for a little while before you put it into this. Now, <clears throat> when you add the alcohol, it performs an extraction. So it takes all of that DNA material and brings it to the top. So we don't want to pour it like directly in there. We'll pour it down the side of the cup and we'll make a separate layer. And you can see it start to separate. There we go. So now we have two distinct layers in our solution. And you will definitely start to see the separation of the mash. This is our good stuff right here. Here's our alcohol on top. This, you see this kind of clear, fuzzy looking material in here, starting to separate out. See that right there? That, this layer right here, is our DNA material extracted out of the cells of the strawberry. And it will start to rise to the top. We can see that, got a great shot of that. It will definitely make itself appear. Then we can take our skewer. You can use a popsicle stick. You can use some tweezers. It works better with a popsicle stick for some strange reason. I couldn't find popsicle sticks in the store today. I guess people are making popsicles. I'm really not sure what's going on. Kind of like the toilet paper. I can't explain why people rushed and got truckloads of toilet paper. I have no clue. But popsicle sticks seem to be in short supply. But there is our deoxyribonucleic acid out of our strawberries. These are all things you can try at home. All ingredients you should be able to find. Strawberries, coffee filters, plastic bags, soap, a little bit of salt, water. No problem. The isopropyl alcohol might be the only problem right now, but maybe you have some sitting around and it doesn't take much. If you have any questions or comments or something you'd like to see in the next uh, episodes, just let us know. Thank you very much for watching.